Good morning, good afternoon. I don't know, whatever you are working out, I'm Diana, and this is Cody. He will be demoing me for today. We're gonna to start by talking about our warm up. So our warm up, it, warm up is one round of five dumbbell or backpack single arm strict press. Into five single arm front squats. So you do five right side, five left side. Into 10 step up downs. So again, we've done these a lot. Make sure that your plank, you're nice and flat on that plank that we're not dipping those hips beautiful. Again, if you can't jump, you can always step back. That is always an option. All right, so you have one round of that. Gorgeous, Cody. Then we got one round of 10 dumbbell deadlifts. No, dumbbell, double, de double dumbbell deadlifts. Sorry, push press, I can't talk. One, there, two dumbbells. So we're doing a push press, so we dip and drive, finish with a lockout position. Hips are open, arms are locked right by that head. If you don't have dumbbells, again, you could use a backpack or anything double weighted. All right, from there, we have the same thing, but front squats. So we're doing the same thing we did the first round, except we're adding two. So hips crease all the way down, standing all the way up, resting those dumbbell on those shoulders. Awesome job, Cody. And the last one is a 200 meter jog or one full minute of burpees. And again, burpees are very similar to up downs, except we're going all the way down to the ground, chest, thighs to the floor, pop on up. Give me a little bit of hop, give me a little bit of daylight under. Again, if you cannot jump, you can always step back and step up. Awesome. Then we go into two rounds of mobility from here. For our two rounds of mobility, you're gonna do 10 hollow rocks. So your hollow rock, your core is nice and scooped and you are rocking, legs stay straight, arms extended over your head. If you cannot hollow rock like that, you can bring your arms next to you or you can bring your knees in a little bit to support. Okay, so you have 10 of those, and then you're gonna roll over onto your stomach for 10 arm haulers. Haul, I can't talk. <laughs> haulers, and reach around, and then bring all the way through like you're swimming, and then reach around above your butt, up to the small of your back. There we go. And then we're reaching around, up, all the way around, to the small of your back. That is warming up your shoulders. From there, you're gonna do six alternating groiners with a twist. So you're gonna take a really big step, Drive that foot out past that knee, drive your elbow down, and then you are gonna twist, bringing your chest to the knee that is open. You've got six of those. And we'll be doing two rounds of that, and that is your warm up. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the workout. The workout, we're gonna talk about the home workout and the equipment workout at the same time, because it's very similar movement. So this is teams of two. If you can't have, don't have two people, don't have another person do the workout, you can do it on your own and just alternate movements. So partner one will do a 200 meter run. And while partner one is doing a 200 meter run, partner two is gonna pick up those dumbbells. They're gonna do five dumbbells shoulder to overhead. So you can push press, you can push jerk, you can strict press, whatever you want. You have five of those into 10 dumbbell front squats. So again, dumbbells on those shoulders, squatting all the way down. You do not have dumbbells, you can use a backpack or anything weighted. So if you have partners, when he would wait, while I come in from the run and we would switch, if you were doing this on your own, you are running and then doing those movements back and forth, this is for 15 minutes. So again, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use anything that is weighted, same movements. That is our workout. All right, if you haven't had enough, we have our finisher, which is normally core. And again, not to disappoint, we're doing core. So this is going to be three sets. The first thing we're gonna do is a 30 second hollow hold. So again, same thing as the hollow rocks. We're bringing that belly button, driving it, and we're scooped out right here. If that hold is too hard, then you can bring your hands down by your side. You can also rest. You can bring your knees up. You're gonna go 30 second hollow hold immediately into a max backpack plank hold. So throw that backpack on like Dora the Explorer. And you're gonna, sorry I made it tight. And you are going to do a plank hold. And you are gonna hold that plank until you can hold it no more. Now I want you to notice, you can go onto your elbows on your hands. Shoulder, elbow, it's a straight line. I don't want your hands out in front. We're nice and tight, his butt is not dipping. Don't dip and don't be a camel. There we go, okay? 
for until you can't hold it anymore. We've got three rounds of that and then you are done. 